can't with this. This will not support my heavy phone. Okay, finally, I hope I got it good. I don't look good at all right now, so sorry for that. Uh, I've been working all day, and uh, yeah, uh, my camera doesn't make me look too good. So, I figured today I could do like a reacting to hate comments video. You know, this used to be a really popular thing back in my day, um, and I figured I would do it again. You know, I haven't done one of these in a really long time. Now I have the power to like add stuff. To like the screen so you guys can kind of like see what I'm talking about so and just to make it perfectly clear I am not reading this hoping to get a reaction out of these people everyone that I am going to be reading off I will not read the names I mean you can probably still see the names on the screen but I'm not gonna purposely call out their names or anything but um yeah you'll still be able to see it but like I said this isn't to get a reaction. Everyone who commented this had their comment deleted. Some of them have even been blocked because most of them, actually a couple of them, like a handful, have stalked my channel to the point where they're down in the first ever videos I posted and they're getting angry about that. So a little of them are a little messed up in the head. Everyone on here is a little bit messed up in the head, but it's okay. It's okay. So um, I'll read this. I have my trusty iPad right here because... Yeah, I, I gotta read them. I can't, like, multitask on my phone. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first hate comment I'll read off. And I'll, like, do a brief description of some of these if need be. Like, if it's not completely obvious or I want to add something to it. So, let's get started. So, this was commented on a video of where I posted Dixie being hit by a child. It's my most popular video. If you want to go on my shorts and look up my most popular short videos, it's that video. It's titled, The Child Hits My Service Dog in Walmart. This person commented, I would have said, good job, kid. So, not only is this supporting animal abuse to this beautiful little creature right here, you are promoting violence to animals who have no idea what they're doing wrong if they're doing anything wrong at all dixie did nothing wrong at all she did not snap at this kid she did not freak out you know she like literally leaped forward to get out of the way and you're saying that, that that's a good thing that she got hurt and you're saying it should have been done again a little bit goofy but okay moving on and i've gotten a lot of comments like this next one Unfortunately, a lot of people think Dixie here is a fake service dog because of her breed. They think German Shepherds can't do service work. They only think Labs and Goldens and Doodles can do it. No, any dog can be a service dog. So a lot of these people believe that Dixie's a fake simply because of her breed. Um, so the next comment said, she just put a service jacket on her dog so she can take her baby in the store. Not a true service dog. Okay, so... I don't know what a service jacket is. I don't put any type of jacket on my dog. I use a harness for for uh, mobility purposes and guide work. And I use a vest sometimes. But um, I, I don't humanize my dog. You can see she wants pets. I don't humanize my dog. Uh, my dog is a dog. I know she is a dog. I don't think she's a baby. I may jokingly call her my dogger, which is a dog and a daughter. So I may call her my dogger, but... I, I'm not, I don't think she's a baby. I don't think she's my little muffin that needs to go into Walmart with me and yap at everyone in the cart. Huh, baby? <laughs> no. Um, my dog is here to serve a purpose. So before I get too far into this video, let's make it very clear. Dixie here, who is whining and wants attention now doesn't want to be by me. Dixie here is a cardiac alert dog, psych dog, and light mobility. Oh, she just, she just fell a little bit. It's okay, honey. But Dixie is here for a purpose. Dixie is not emotional support. She's not a therapy dog. She is itching. <laughs> she is itching behind me. Look at her arm. It's so funny. But she's not an emotional support dog. She's not a therapy dog. She's not a little pet I want to bring everywhere. I bring her because if I don't, I am at risk of being hospitalized or worse. So that's what I have her for. Yeah. Anyways, sorry. Stuttered a little bit. I tried saying that's why I have her, and then I say that's what I have her for. That's, like, what I have her. <laughs> sorry. A little bit. Nah. Okay. Some other person on the same video of Dixie being hit by a child. Most of these are from Dixie being hit by a child. Some of them are on other videos, but this is mostly the most popular video. Um, someone said, oh, look, more fake service dog videos. 
once again, I I'm not gonna, like, explain everything, every comment, but I, I don't see how people think she's a fake service dog. You see a 10-second video of her, and you're like, boom, fake service dog, that's not a service dog. But then you'll think a little dog in a pink jacket sitting in a cart yapping at everyone is a true service dog. Yeah, I've seen people like this before. They will call legitimate service dogs fake, and then they'll turn around and say other dogs are real. Like, I had that happen where a service dog bit my dog, and people were defending that other dog when he said he was going to kill me and my dog, and I defended myself, so. Some people are just a little bit kooky. <laughs> uh, next one said, if it was an actual service animal, you would not have to sneak it in, and you would not have to spend time harassing it to focus. So, this video, specifically, I made a joke. I snuck my dog into high school, or I snuck my dog into school. I went through a six-year process of getting my dog into school. It took a very long time. <laughs> um, I did not harass her to focus. I said Dixie focus. Maybe once, twice. So she could look at the, at the camera. She was already focusing on me, like, aware of me. That's what a service dog does. But um, I said focus so she could look up at the camera for a YouTube video. But that's harassing her. Um, Dixie, come. If she doesn't want to do it, she's not going to do it. Dixie, come here. See? Like, I'm not going to drag her and be like, Dixie, you come here, you stupid dog. No. If she doesn't want to do something, I'm not going to scream and yell at her. Like, right now is her off-duty time, so she doesn't have to do crap. She doesn't even have to be in my bed with me if she doesn't want to. She could go mess with the cat in the other room. She could go run out in my other part of my house. It's her choice to be here. I don't harass her to do anything. I view our relationship as handler and service dog as Dixie is like a employee. She's like my coworker. She gets rewarded when she does a good job. She's my pot partner. Sorry, got that stuck in my head from something. She's my partner. She's my partner in crime. She's my little do or die. You know, we work together. I don't force her like, Dixie, you better do this or else you're not getting dinner time. No. Um, me and Dixie work together as a team. We don't, I don't force her to do stuff. If she wants to disobey me and not listen, you know, I'm not just going to let that slide. You know, I'll work on it. But no, I'm not going to force my dog to do something she doesn't want to do because that is not right. But once again, all of these people assume based off of a short video. Like, these are all on short videos, not even full length, short videos. And they assume. Sorry, I'm getting really bothered by the way my chin looks. It looks like I have a double chin right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, next one says, get your service dog out of the store. Biggest scam these days. How many people are... My bad. Biggest scam these days is how many people are needing service slash support animals. Okay, so a lot of the time I notice these type of people don't know a thing about service animals, but yet they feel like they have a place to say something. Service dogs and emotional support dogs are not the same in any way, shape, or form. Emotional support dogs are not working dogs. Service dogs are working dogs. Service dogs have a purpose. Emotional supports really do not. They're not specifically trained for anything. You know, emotional support animals are great for people with mental disabilities, but they're not going to do something life-changing to help their handler. A service dog is task-trained to um, let's say, prevent harmful behaviors from happening if you have a mental disability. Say you have depression and you're thinking of SH. I can't say it on YouTube because I'll get demonetized, but you're thinking of doing something to yourself. Your service dog will prevent that. They will help their best to stop that. They can retrieve medication. They can stop SH. They can do anything. Like Dixie, if um, I do this, Dixie, focus. She's falling asleep, you guys. Dixie, focus. See? She looked at me, I'm like, she's supposed to paw me, but you get the idea. Um, but that's what a service dog does, is she was originally trained for anxiety. Oh, you got big yawn. Can you get a kiss? No? Oh, thank you. But, uh, you know, they do something. So Dixie, like I said, she was really originally trained for anxiety alert. Now she is PTSD response, um, cardiac, and light mobility. Um, cardiac, the reason I'm kind of like, eh, about that one is because I do have cardiac issues, but there's also other medical issues that my doctor said I had that she alerts to, but I don't, we don't, like, go through it as often as, like, cardiac or 
uh, PTSD attacks. You want to kiss? Yeah. Go get your toy. Go play. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the next one. Oh, she's she she's killing a husky. You guys get it. Yeah. Anyways, um, this next person once again excused animal abuse. They said that's what happens when you take a dog into public. Meaning, if you take a dog into public anywhere, that that gives people a right to abuse an innocent animal who doesn't know right from wrong. Once again, I'm not going to explain a lot of these, but you guys can just kind of get an idea of what is going on with some of these. A lot of them are just <sighs> concerning. They, they concern me. Next one. Stop bringing your pet into Walmart. That ain't a service dog. Ain't is not a word. I was told that by my teacher when I was a little kid and it traumatized me. But yeah, ain't is not a word technically. I still use it sometimes, but hey, don't shine in my bed. You already have enough hair. But, again, I already explained what Dixie does. I haven't. I have to explain it further. Once again, from a 10-second video, you can't tell if my dog is a service dog or not. But you should not be making assumptions that she is a fake. Moving on to the next one. If I can breathe. Just had a... Oh, almost a sneeze. Um, this person said, Vest should not be... At should not be easily available. Same with handicap parking permits. The mentally disturbed people ruin it for those with a mental or physical disability. So someone who is mentally disturbed. But you're also saying people who have mental disabilities. You know mentally disturbed can mean PTSD. Because you're having a disruption in your mind. Which is mental. Your mind is mental. Um... Not only are you not making sense at all in this comment, but you're degrading people who have disabilities, who may be disturbed upstairs. They might have really bad PTSD from a war they were in, or combat they were in, or abuse victim. Um, other things I cannot say, but people who genuinely have mental disabilities that you have no experience with because you never went through it. That's degrading, and that is horrible for a person to say. And, you know, I try to joke about hate comments. I try to make it light and funny, but this is not funny. This is a serious issue that should not be lightly joked about or discussed in a degrading manner because some people genuinely have disabilities that they cannot help that suck and you'll never have experience with. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out my hair. It's going crazy. Do you see this? Um. Anyways. It's not some funny little joke. So I'm sorry if I'm being a little bit of a Debbie Downer, but that's not okay to degrade mental health. It's, it's not. Um, and once again, they were assuming Dixie was a fake service dog. Um, yes, I have mental disabilities. PTSD, depression, anxiety. Um, I think that's like it. <laughs> but things like that. I have mental disabilities. I also have physical disabilities like cardiac issues. That's not a, a pure disability. That's a right here disability that could give me a heart attack and I could end up dying. Um, I have mobility issues. My kneecap, this this part of your body, the cap dislocates. Um, I am I am, I am I'm, I, that. I am unable to walk sometimes. So with Dixie, when she does with that, is she'll push up against it like a brace. This is where it pops out this side. She push up against it like a brace. And she will stay there. She will support that. I don't brace on her. Like, I don't push down on her to stand up. I don't do that because she's really tiny. And I'm really tall. <laughs> so I just don't do that. But you get the idea. My dog is for physical and mental disabilities. Is that your emotional support service dog? Keep him at home. Two things wrong here. My dog's a female. <laughs> um, I, I don't think... I, I don't understand how you look at a very clearly defined feminine dog and think, that's a boy. Dixie is very defined. She looks, she is literally, she's the most feminine dog I've ever seen. Like, her face is very chiseled in a feminine way. She's really skinny, lean, fit, really feminine in the hips, chest, um, depth of body. She's just a really feminine dog. I don't see how you can think she's a male, but okay. Uh, anyways... Emotional support service dogs are not a thing either. Like I said, most of these people who degrade us and think that my dog's a fake do, do, do not know what a service dog is. They just don't. They make assumptions because they want to get a reaction out of you. You know, I'll reply to these comments, then I'll delete their comment just to make them mad. They'll click on it and be like, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Like, it'll just make them upset and mad. And that's my goal. I like making people upset and mad. But uh, yeah, if you insult me 
I'm going to insult you back. If you try to respond, I'm going to block you. Um, I don't have an ongoing game. I enjoy making people feel a fool of themselves. I enjoy it. If someone wants to be snarky and rude, I'm going to give you the same energy. If you want to be nice and kind and supportive, I'm going to give that same energy. Respect is earned. It's not just given. If you call my dog a fake service dog, I'll be like, oh, can you explain why you feel that way? I'm sorry if I made you feel that way. I'm not going to do that. If you call my dog a fake service dog, I'm going to say you're lacking in brain cells. I'm going to say you're obviously blind. I'm going to say that you're not that intelligent upstairs. You know, I'm going to give you what you give me. Keep that in mind. Next one. <laughs> Why didn't you do something? Posting a video does nothing but demonstrate how you allowed a child to strike your dog. Poor dog needs a better owner. Again, I am disabled. Um, I have selective mutism, if you will. That's what my doctor said. So she basically explained it to me. When I am put in a stressful situation and I don't know how to appropriately handle it, instead of lashing out and getting mad like, oh, you stupid kid. I, I don't do that. I can't talk. You know, it's selective, so it's not like, oh, I can't totally talk. It's my brain will decide what to do in that moment. When something stressful or scary happens in your life, you have three different responses. You have fight, flight, or freeze. Typically, I freeze, which is not a good response. Don't recommend. <laughs> but when I freeze, typically, I just don't know what to say. It's like that expression, my jaw dropped on the floor. It doesn't literally, but... That is how I feel in those moments. My jaw drops on the floor. I'm in shock. I'm sh surprised. So I, by natural response, don't really know what to say to these people. Because I have tried saying stuff in the past, it has only gotten me in trouble. It has only gotten my dog hurt. Um, so I just don't say stuff. So for you to call me a bad dog owner and saying I don't deserve my dog who keeps me alive... That's kind of over the top. You know, you could be like, hey, you could like ask, hey, why didn't you say anything? Is there a reason by that? Like when you get nervous, do you just not talk? You could ask. You don't have to assume. Moving on. <laughs> um, This one was actually on a video of a dog lunging at Dixie and trying to hump her from behind in Walmart. Um, This person said, I can't believe it. It's your dog that got distracted. The other dog stayed healed up. And in step, which doesn't make sense. Don't know what that means. Stop crying. D-A-M, which is a dam, like a beaver dam, but okay. You're not the only show in town. I don't want to be a show. I want to be ignored. People like you don't know how to ignore other people. You want to create drama and attention. You want attention. So, and another thing in this comment that is kind of like confusing to me is my dog got distracted. So my dog, who is focusing on me, is distracted I, I don't know. People, like, they just like to make up things that make no sense. And that is why I get so confused. And they're like, oh, are you dumb? Did you hear what I said? No, you're just not making any sense. Like, my dog stood up when I went to go walk away. How is that getting distracted? This dog was laser focused on her, lunged, tried humping her. But that dog's more real than mine. I don't know. Some people I just don't understand. This other one, this one's just kind of ignorant. Pee-pee, pee-pee, P.O. Pie are tired of all the D.A.M. dogs. I don't know what a P.O. Pie is. I, I don't. Right here, it's, it looks like P.O. Pie. They obviously didn't spell people right. It looks like Popol. Okay, I'll read it like that. Popol are tired of all the damn dogs. I don't know what a Popol is, but... Whoever they are, I'm sorry that they don't like our dogs. <laughs> I'm sorry that they don't like medical equipment. Um, now, here's the thing. If you say... Let's go back on some of these comments. Okay, so let's... Let's, um... Let's go back to the comment before this one. So, let's say I have a wheelchair. And someone walks out in front of it and kicks my wheel. Posted it. And someone said, it's your fault. Your wheelchair got in the way. It's your fault for being paralyzed. But that person's in the right. They didn't do anything wrong. But they kicked my wheelchair. Now, how many people do you think would say that? Probably little to none. Like, hardly any. But when it comes to a living, breathing creature who is bound to make mistakes, or, you know, not even none at all, their automatic response is to blame the service dog. But 
if it comes to a cane, a wheelchair, an oxygen tank, um, a heart rate monitor, you don't blame any of those medical equipment. So why do you blame a dog? And why do you treat people who are paralyzed, like if they're in a wheelchair and they paralyzed from the waist down, why do you treat them with respect, but you don't treat other people who need service dogs with respect? Say, a service dog handler is in a wheelchair, and they have a dog next to them, and they're also paralyzed. Do you know how many more people are going to judge you for having that dog, rather than if you don't have a dog? It's ridiculous. I'm sorry, but that's just something I noticed. Um, this person just was uneducated. They said, all dogs are allowed in my local Walmart. I take mine shopping all the time. Um, I'm going to put up a screenshot here of corporate Walmart rules, law, literal, state and federal law. Walmart is not pet friendly. It does not matter where you are. They cannot legally be pet friendly. Moving on. Uh, this looks like the last one. So we're wrapping up this video right now. This person says, uh, no one truly cares. It's just making... It just making it seem like you're up in everyone else's business. If your dog's truly a service dog, you would have nothing to worry about. I avoid people. I don't mess with people. My dog is a real service dog, but I am concerned for her. Once again, this dog keeps me alive. It would be great of me to try to keep her alive too. Don't you think? Uh... If, say, if a wheelchair, I love using wheelchairs as examples, if you can tell. If you have a wheelchair and it helps you get around, you know, it helps you do stuff, it helps you be independent, are you going to leave it out in the rain to rust? Are you going to, like, tip it over when you get mad or smash something off it because you get mad? No, you're going to take care of it because it takes care of you. So why can't it be the same for a dog? Why can't I take care of my dog and why can't I protect my dog from fake service dogs and children and adults or whatever? Why can't I protect my dog if other people protect their other things and take care of them? Why can't I take care of and protect my dog without being shamed on the internet? And people like you advocate for don't abuse animals. Treat animals with equality. Then why are you suggesting that my service dog should have no respect and she should not be taken care of? And I'm just being a Karen because I'm trying to protect her. Would you say that to someone with a child? If a, um, once again, can't say it. But if someone who finds a very strong interest in children comes up and tries to take take your child to do some unimaginable things with your child, would you just sit there and just be like, mm, it's whatever, I, I could just have another kid? Or would you try to save your child and try to protect your child? Again, I don't humanize my dog, but, you know, she keeps me alive. Think about that. Think about, would you just let your child be kidnapped or hurt? Would you let, here's better yet, would you let a dog attack your human baby or your pet dog? Would you let a dog just viciously attack it and not do anything? I also, when doing this, I just got a comment notification saying, okay, Karen. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, see, it comes in constantly. Out. I was recording this video for 21 minutes. This section, I've already gotten five notifications for people already calling me Karen, saying my dog should die, saying that my dog's a fake service dog. I already got five notifications within 21 minutes. So, I'm going to wrap up this video, though, because that's the last of the hate comments for now. And that was just a small section of them. Once again, every two minutes... Like, if you go on my YouTube studios and you refresh it, every two minutes I get a new hate comment. That's not including all the supportive comments I get. So anyways, I'm going to edit this video. <laughs> Try to upload it tonight, if I can. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell so you can get notified on every video we upload. I'm trying to be more active and just do more things. So yeah, just keep an eye out if you have any suggestions for videos that I should do. Put it in the comments below and I'll try to get around to it. Um, I'm sorry once again if I looked like crap in this video. My hair's really just wild right now. I guess I got back from work. I've been working all day. So yeah, I just, I'm just trying to relax. But I wanted to get this video out because I feel like it's very insightful for people who may just be curious what Dixie's for and for people to understand what I go through. So if I respond to you in a rude way, I don't mean it in a rude way completely unless you're being rude to me. But if you ask an invasive question and I give you an invasive, rude answer, you know why. I go through this crap day to day to day.
when you're more popular and you're more recognized, you get crap every day. You know, I try to be the nicest person in the world, but people still don't respect me. You can never win with people. You know, like with that kid video, I didn't yell at her kid. I didn't scream or slap her kid, but people are still finding a way to blame me when I simply just recorded it and uploaded it to YouTube. I did nothing else. I didn't even report her child to Walmart. One, because Walmart won't do anything, but for two, it's a child. You know, I thought I heard this child might have autism. So last thing I wanted is to cause a huge ruckus. You know, the mom could have said, hey, sorry, or made her kid apologize, but it's whatever. But like I said, I didn't do anything to this child, I didn't say anything to this child, but yeah, I'm the one to blame. My dog is the one being called a fake service dog, I'm the one being called a Karen, I'm the one getting death threats and regular threats, so I don't really know what's the purpose behind that, I don't know. But um, yeah, I just figured I would give you guys an insight to my life, I go through this every day. Um... Every time between the periods of my class, I check my phone and hate comments just roll right in. Typically, I'll just delete them. Oh, I won't even read or respond to them. If they start out with something like fake service dog or keep your pets at home, I'll just delete it. I won't even read it. So, yeah, but these are the ones that kind of stood out to me. Again, I get so many a day, so I couldn't fit all of them in here. But that was just a good chunk of it. Anyways, like I said, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. So if you want to like be notified on any other videos we upload, do that. Um, I'm working on getting some other stuff on my channel. I'm working on getting monetized so I can start buying Dixie nice things. Just got to figure out how to get on AdSense, uh, which is the thing I have to get on. So I'm going to figure out that. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and have a wonderful day. I hope you're having a better day than my day.